Welcome back guys, we are talking about biology and mathematics, the connection and again in this video we will be talking about another question from uh, biochemistry and especially the structure of proteins. So let's talk about now. Now the question is an alpha helix is made up of 78 amino acids. What will be the value of the its axial length, right? So what they give us, so in any question, in any problem, what you need to find, what they provide us and second thing is what we need to find. Now here what they provided us is that this uh, total alpha helix is made up with amino acid number that is 78. It's made up with 78 amino acids. Now what do we need to find? We need to find the axial length. What is that? The axial length of the peptide chain. I mean in that case, what do we mean by alpha helix? We all know helical structure means, you know, somewhat like this. This, is, this kind of structure is the helical structure. And alpha helix, it, it's a kind of structure like DNA alpha helix actually forms structure like this. Something like this, right? So this is a helical structure like, so it's spiral with each other. This is not because this is a structure of DNA like. Now this is kind of the structure of alpha helix. Now when you look at the alpha helical structure here, what we know is that the alpha helix is turning and as it is a helix, according to all of our idea that all the helix that we know of are actually made up of some important parameters and the parameter is what is uh, one thing is called turn that is each time it is coiling that is the turn and second thing is the pitch which is the distance between two successive turns. So pitch. These are the two important things that we need to know, right? And all these things are measured using Armstrong. That is the unit we usually use to measure all this distance and length because if they are very, very tiny, very, very small atomic distances, we use Armstrong to get the idea. Now in this case, we, we also we need to know the turn, the pH and all these things. Now, once you know the turn and pitch of the alpha helix, you can easily answer this question. Because, you know, pitch means, you know, uh, the distance between two successive turns and turn means the number of amino acids that is creating one round. I mean, uh, creating one particular round and complete that. So, in this case of alpha helix, what we know is that alpha helices are having 3.6 amino acid per turn. That is one thing we really know. That's why alpha helices are also called as 3.6 uh, helix actually and there is another helix that is called the 310 but this is 3.6 uh, helix because 3.6 amino acid there in each turn so in each this turn there are 3 and 0.6 that means the calculation is uh, up to overall distance that's why we get this kind of value 3.6 amino acids per turn on the other hand if we look at here the pitch that means this distance between two turns now this pitch of alpha helix is 5.6 4 angstrom that is 5.4 angstrom right so what do we need to know we need to know the axial length so what do we mean by this axial length the axial length means suppose 78 amino acids they provide us the idea that there are 78 amino acids that are present so that means if there are 78 amino acids present what do we need to do so complete set is com consisting of 78 amino acids right complete set is made up of 78 amino acids and if we find the number of pitch of this whole peptide structure we can easily find it right so what do we need to find we need to find the number of these turns so how many turns they have in so we need to figure out number of turns because we know the number of amino acid that is present in the turn so we can easily figure out what is the number of turns once we know the number of turns we can multiply this with the number of pitch because you know pitch means each time two turns are separated so to get the exact distance so let's figure out so number of turns means how can we get the number of turns we know one turn contains 3.6 amino acids that means for 78 amino acids how many turns simple calculation 78 divided by 3.6 and we get a value right we get some value I am not calculating right now. So we get this 78 divided by 3.6. That's the value. The second point is once we know the number of turns, so definitely the distance between two turns is giving us the pitch, right? So pitch will give us the actual value in angstrom. That's what we want to calculate, the axial length. That's the total number of pitch. So the axial length equals to 
Okay, so the axial length formula will be, you know, 78 by 3.6 into 5.4. That will be the value, right? So once we get this value, what we need to put here, we simply can take this out and we can put into, uh, I mean, multiply it into 9. So you can get it 6 and 39. It will give us 117 and strong. So that will be the answer 117 and strong. Now the key to solve this question is to know three important thing that is uh, the pitch that means the distance between two turns and second thing is the number of amino acid that is consisted of of each turn that means the number of amino acid present in each turn so once you know the number of amino acid present in each turn you get the value of the total number of turns and we also know the distance between the turns that is the pitch we multiply it with the value we get the answer of the exact axial length of the protein